get back to the action now. Welcher waits. Lamont Johnson out of Phoenix, Arizona, taking on St. Petersburg, Florida's Tommy Eaglin. Eaglin earned the respect of the New Mexico fans when he knocked out Chris Linson Jr., who was unbeaten at the time. So uh, he, he earned a lot of respect from the New Mexico boxing fans. Now entering the ring is Tommy Eaglin out of St. Pete, Florida. Record of 16 and four, 10 by knockout. And when you, when you talk about rising star, I think he fits this. What do you think? Yeah. He, he is a rising star. He's, he's fought in Albuquerque, what, three or four times? And has done a great job. We'll go up to the announcer now. Good evening, Buskers Productions and Corona Beer are proud to present the semi-main event of the evening, eight rounds in the welterweight division. Your judges for this eight-round welterweight bout, Russell Mora, Jim Bagshaw, and Levi Martinez. And when the bell rings, your man in charge, Bird Nephew. Now for your principles, first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Tucson, Arizona, has a professional record of seven wins, nine losses, three wins coming by the way of KO. Please give a big hand for the Lamont, the Monster Man, Johnson! His opponent, fighting in the black trunks, trimmed in green and gold. Hails from St. Petersburg, Florida, weighed in at 147 pounds even. He has a professional record of 16 wins, four losses, 10 wins coming by the way of knockout. Please give a big hand for Tommy Pion. Tommy Eaglin and Lamont Johnson. Lamont with a seven and nine record, but I understand he's coming off a victory and uh, pretty highly touted by his handlers anyway before the fight here talking to us. We're just about ready to go with eight rounds in the welterweight division. As I was saying earlier, Tommy Eaglin, uh, kind of a rising star, even though he's from Florida, uh, promoted by Lenny Fresquez, and here comes Eaglin now with that aggressive, punchy style and starts it off with a big right hand. Lamont Johnson shakes his head. But usually when boxing, when you say no, that means yes. <laughs> I think he got a taste of the power there, Stan. Yeah, I think uh, he came out just to get this thing over with right away. And now he reaches in with a body shot, catches Lamont moving to the left with a right hand. And Tommy Eaglin now coming out here with a vengeance. He feels right at home in the ring here in Albuquerque. He has really, really uh, added on to his career here in Albuquerque. There's some nice body shots. You can just hear the hear the sound of it. Lamont Johnson with that a little more of a stick and move style, definitely move. We'll see how well he sticks. Oh, <laughs> Eaglin just reaches in with a right hand. Didn't quite catch his man flush, but uh, if he zeroes in on him, I think Lamont's going to be in a world of trouble here now. Referee Marv, Merv Nephew gives a warning for holding to Johnson. Oh, and a solid right hand again from Eaglin. Just sneaks that right hand in there. Kind of deceptive, Stan. He looks like a power fighter, but a little bit of speed in his hands. Well, he does move in very quickly. He's, I think he came out here just determined to put, a, put an end to this thing very quickly, the way he started out. Oh! And Johnson's going to be in trouble because he's going to be one of the holders. Yeah, I think he's definitely softened up already by Eaglin. We'll see if Lamont Johnson can mount any offense. You're going to have to put some offense out there, or Eaglin will just walk right through you. And this is the style of Tommy Eaglin. We've seen it before. Just walks forward with a smooth, steady pressure. And when he starts to when he lands on you, you are in trouble. I think Johnson has uh, was caught by surprise very early, and has got his <laughs> got his act together a little bit more right now. Surprise! There's another one for you. Now he's fighting, trying to fight off the ropes here, but Eaglin definitely an edge in power for Eaglin. His punches sound different. And when Johnson's back on the ropes or in the corner, he's he's not in a good place. Nephew's going to get tired of uh, of Johnson's tactics in a few minutes. It won't surprise me if a point doesn't come off somewhere during this bout. Oh yeah, he's already taking a few warnings. Oh, and Eaglin with a wicked left hand now, and Johnson is hurt, and down he goes. 
You could see it coming, just as you said, Stan. Uh, Eaglin came out to get things over with. Now Johnson's gonna get up, but he's gonna have to fight his way through the, the little bit that's left in this round. And it's not much. 10 seconds to go now. Let's see what Eaglin can do. Lamont tries to catch him. Johnson now with a few little good punches at the end of the round. And we'll be back with more of this fight after this. All right, he's up. There's level one right there, number two, and this is Lisa. Next Friday night, 11.30. Back to the action, scheduled for eight welterweights, Lamont Johnson and Tommy Eaglin. And uh, that opening round was all Eaglin as he put the pressure on, landed the big punches, and scored a knockdown. A good way to start this one. And Lamont Johnson now up on his bicycle. He's gonna need to mount some offense or Tommy Eaglin's just gonna walk him down and stomp on him, uh, Stan. I don't, I don't see any other way. Well, I don't either. It's gonna take, <laughs> he's gonna have to recover big time from probably what might have been at least a 10-7 round. The knockdown would give him an automatic 10-8, but he got beat up besides that, so there's a possibility of a 10-7. He's going to have to win a lot of rounds. Yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, already dug a little bit of a hole for himself here. We've got eight rounds scheduled. He landed a nice left hand to the body just a minute ago, but Eaglin just doesn't let off the gas as far as the pressure. He does not let off the pressure. He doesn't back it off any. Always moving forward. I think if you could get Eaglin to back up, he, Eaglin would be in a little trouble because he's not used to that. Chris Linson tried it but was not able to do it, or at least to sustain it anyway. And it doesn't look, from what I've seen, that Lamont Johnson has the power to do that either. Tommy Eaglin reminds me of a, a smaller version of uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico's cruiserweight, Sean McLean. Kind of the same style. Right? That's right. That's <laughs> right. Yes. He did well. You know, he was a, a big heavy hitter, a big puncher, uh, but when he got beat, he looked horrible. Right. He looked so bad in his losing efforts, but then he finally just decided he, he better work for a living. <laughs> <laughs> but it was exciting while it lasted. Yes, and it I, was. I think of him every time I see Tommy Eaglin fight, that same style, that methodical moving forward and the big punches. And right now it's uh, Lamont Johnson keeping Eaglin back on the ropes. And I would expect Eaglin to come out with a flurry any second here. He's trying to dip down under that and, and probably spring up with something. There was a little bit of a left hook, but not much behind it. I don't know if Eaglin's taking a little breather here or what, but he sure has slowed down the offense. And there's a nice right hand by Johnson. So Eaglin puts himself in harm's way. Johnson takes advantage of it. As long as Tommy Eaglin keeps the pressure on, he's okay. But when he backed it off there, Lamont Johnson taking, taking advantage of that situation. Nice right hand to the body in Lamont by Eaglin, and Johnson answers back. And now down goes Johnson. Something in there got Lamont Johnson. He goes down. Eaglin was just working along. All of a sudden, Johnson went down. I don't know, Stan, did you catch that? He got him in the midsection. Mm. Okay, so a body shot takes the wind out of Lamont Johnson's sails just when he was starting to mount a little something. And that ends the round, and we'll be back with more after this. All right. There's lovely right there on the three. This is Marissa. Put that sounds just kind of looking guys.
three scheduled to get underway here. We're waiting for the corner to get mopped up here. Tommy Eaglin in the corner raising his hands and just comes storming out now to meet Lamont Johnson. Two big rounds to open this fight for Tommy Eaglin. Well, I think Johnson's so far behind at this point. Of course, it's only round three, but he's he has knocked his opponent down. And Johnson's been down once in each round so far, and uh, and right now he's getting pummeled by Eaglin, and down he goes again, the third time in this fight. Tommy Eaglin just opened it up, and, and it looks like he can almost put him away at will if he'll sustain that. Let's see. Johnson doesn't want any more. No, those are body shots. Yeah. Both times, he went down. The last two times, he went down with shots to the body, and Eaglin just, just eating his lunch to the midsection. Tommy Eaglin with an impressive performance again. He's becoming an Albuquerque favorite. It looked to me at the... Uh, at the break there that uh, Johnson really wasn't too anxious to get off the stool coming into the third round. I, uh, he wasn't too happy about that. And the coach said, well, give it one more shot. I think that body shot he took in the second round that dropped him in the red corner over here, I think that took a lot out of him, Stan. He didn't look the same after that. Just when it looked like he might be getting a little something going, but uh-uh, no way. Tommy Eaglin just said, this is my fight, and he, he did the job in three rounds. So let's go up to the ring announcer, Bob Matthews. I think he's about ready to make the official announcement. Well, he's impressed, though. I, know I see him shaking his head. He was impressed. Here we go. So another win for Tommy Eaglin. He moved his record to 17 and 4 with 11 by knockout. Another rising star. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more tonight.